Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here, my name is Emma. In today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I've been picking up a few secondhand clothing pieces for my wardrobe and I want to show you them in a video but I thought rather than just doing a haul video I thought I would actually do a styling haul and show you the piece and then also show you one of the ways that I imagined wearing the piece. I do like to pick up pieces with ideas in mind of how I wear them and how I'm going to incorporate them in my wardrobe especially how I'm going to incorporate them in my wardrobe for the current season. So yeah I thought it'd be fun to do this as a styling haul because obviously these pieces are second hand so I can't link them down below but I thought if I show you how I'll be styling them it might give you some inspiration for things that you've picked up recently second hand or things that you already own in your wardrobe and ways that you can style things that if you have anything similar but yeah if you do enjoy this video I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below because if you do enjoy this I'm happy to do it for future hauls like rather than just showing you pieces actually showing you how I'd wear them in my wardrobe but yeah um that's probably enough rambling and without further ado let's just get on into the styling haul okay so the first piece I wanted to show you that I picked up second hand off of Vinted is this little cardigan and jumper set I mentioned this in my vlog from last week um I'll link it in the cards if you haven't seen it that I I recently re-watched You've Got Mail and in that Meg Ryan wears a lot of cardigan and jumper sets and I just thought it was a really really cute way of layering knitwear for the colder months. So I went on to Vinted and I found this one. It's originally from Zara but I got it on Vinted for £13 and it's this just matching jumper and cardigan set. So this is what they look like together. They're just both plain cream and the cardigan's very simple the sleeves are a little bit short on me but that doesn't really bother me too much and it's just quite a nice little fitted cardigan you could obviously button it up but i think i would always leave it open because i really like the fact that you can see the jumper underneath and then if i just take off the cardigan quickly it is just a plain cream jumper they're both a really really soft quite fine knit they're not really really thick but together they all keep you really really nice and warm they feel really, really nice on the body and i think like with them being a little bit thinner that works better because if they were too chunky i don't know if it would work with layering but then obviously i could wear them as a set or i could wear them as separate just because they are both very basic pieces i can wear a cream cardigan multiple different ways and i could wear a cream jumper multiple different ways but i do really really love them together i actually wore the set over the weekend twice i wore it with a pair of jeans both times but one time i wore it with converse and then one time with a pair of like heeled boots and both looked really really nice so i definitely think it is a piece that you can wear casually or dressed up and I just really, really like it. I think it's a really, really cute idea. And I'm definitely on the hunt for, like, other colours. I do want a black jumper and cardigan set because I think that would work really nicely. And, yeah, they're just two really basic pieces in the wardrobe but work really nicely together, layered, and it'll be good for these colder months. And then I have styled them with another piece that I recently picked up secondhand, and that is this little denim skirt. Well, it's actually a score. They have got, like, inbuilt shorts there, which I got from the Kilo sale, if you've seen my recent uh come thrift with me i picked this up in there and i just think they look really really cute together i thought it would just like create quite a feminine outfit like i say you could definitely wear the cardigan jumper with jeans or with like black trousers or like a, just a plain black skirt but i want to style them with the denim mini because i thought it'd be a cute combination um and then obviously with the denim mini skirt you could just pair that with like loads of different jumpers or t-shirts and i feel like all of these pieces are things that i can transition throughout different seasons but yeah i feel like all three pieces are basics that i can wear in my wardrobe for years to come and i think they look really really cute together and then i have paired that with my Doc Martin boots. I will insert a full length clip because I'm aware that you can't really see like my whole body at the moment but I will insert a full length clip so you can see the outfit in full so you can kind of see it all together. But yeah I'm just wearing my Doc Martin boots. I wore them recently to the pumpkin patch and they're definitely a shoe that I want to crack out again this autumn winter and I actually really like them with this little scored and jumper cardigan set i feel like the outfit is a little bit more put together but the denim of the skirt and then just the chunky boots kind of dresses it down a little bit makes it a little bit more casual i feel it is one of those versatile outfits that you could wear for like lunch or shopping or you could even take this into the evening for like a casual dinner if you wanted to and then i have to put it on some little sheer tights with this it's definitely too cold now for bare legs you might be able to see a few holes in these tights um if anybody can recommend me some like ladder resistant tights do let me know and then just to finish off the outfit i'll just style it simply with my black coat um i feel like you could do any coat really with this outfit depending and what you want to go for just a black cross body bag and just kind of keeps it simple kind of keeps it all in that like black tone but then you've got the nice cream popping through to brighten up the outfit a little bit and yeah i just really like the look of the slightly like mid-length coat um because it goes past the skirt i wouldn't wear a coat necessarily that was shorter than the skirt but i like having 
I cut this like long looking skirt and then you can just see the boots at the bottom. And yeah, I actually think this is a really, really cute little outfit for now, for autumn. And like I say, I feel like you could wear this multiple, multiple different places. And I think it's just a really cute, versatile outfit. Yes, yeah, just a nice a way that I would style the second hand pieces that I picked up. Okay, so the next piece that I wanted to show you in style in this video was this little dress that I picked up at the Kilo sale at the same time I picked up the denim skirt. And I mentioned in that video that I thought of styling this over a little black tail neck and I really wanted to style it and show you just how I would style it for the autumn winter months. Because I think at first glance it can look very, very summery because it is a strappy little dress. But I feel like just because it is a black base with those red flowers, I feel like it works really, really nicely for styling for autumn, winter. And I think it's a really good way to style some of your summer dresses. And just get to style a few different pieces in your wardrobe that aren't necessarily jumpers all the time. I really, really love this dress. I think it's so cute. I think it's such a versatile piece. Something you could definitely wear in summer. But I feel like you can also get away with styling for autumn, winter. So the way I've just styled it is I've just popped on a little black high neck jumper underneath and i think that looks really really cute because the base of the dress is black i think it just works really really nicely with a little black jumper underneath obviously it adds a lot of warmth i do just have the same tights on from the last outfit it would wear like those nude fleecy tights so they look sheer but they're actually keeping you very warm because i understand that like this might be a little bit cold to have your legs out i thought they would look it would look really really cute with just my chunky black loafers so that's what i paired them with and again i actually think this is an outfit that's really really cute that you could wear during the day or you could take into the evening because i feel like sometimes in autumn winter if you're going out in the evening it can be a little bit difficult to dress appropriately because you want to look cute but you want to be warm so i think pairing a jumper underneath a little dress is a really really cute way to still get used to out of your little dresses but just make them a little bit more appropriate and then for the accessories because we need a coat because it's cold outside i'm just going to pair it with the same black coat from the first outfit i feel like you could do a bunch of different coats but i just want to do the black coat keep it simple again i like how this coat works with like shorter pieces because it isn't the longest coat it only goes down to my knee i just think it just works really, really nicely with mini things because it just means that like you're covered um, but you can still see your legs and if you're wearing like a knee high boot you'd be able to see the knee high boot um, and then just to keep it within the same colour family I'm gonna just pop on my little red handbag which I got in a charity shop like about a year ago now and I think that's just really really cute to bring out the red obviously you could go for just a plain black bag or any bag but I think the red bag is quite cute and I kind of wanted to play into that sort of evening look that I was on about because I definitely think you could get away with wearing this in the evening and I think it's just a really really cute outfit this is definitely a way I would style the dress for right now and I think it looks really really cute and I wouldn't be too cold and it's just like really fun way to style like summer dresses so if you have thrifted a summer dress recently and you still want to get wear out of it I feel like this is a really nice way to do it it's just pairing it with a jumper underneath because you can still see the old dress you could also do a jumper over the top and make it look more like a skirt but i wanted you to be able to see the dress in its whole um and yeah i think this is just a really cute outfit it feels quite 90s to me actually having the little run having that little high neck jumper underneath this little dress but yeah i think it's a really really cute outfit and it's just a really nice way to style a typically summer dress for the colder weather okay every time i film a outfits video there's always one outfit that i'm not 100 percent on there's a little bit out of my comfort zone and i think for this video this is the outfit but i really want to show you this skirt because i absolutely love it um i bought it off of vinted i don't know if you can tell it's like a thick cotton material and it actually has a leaf print on it which is just so autumnal but i haven't worn it yet and i am kind of struggling to style it a little bit and make it like my style if i'm honest but i want to show you it in this video so i have put an outfit together i don't know if it's fully me so if you have any ideas on like how i could improve this outfit do let me know in the comments below because there's something not quite right but this is the skirt it's this midi length skirt which might be one of the things that's throwing me off it's also a little bit big for me but like i said i love the pattern because it's this leaf pattern and it's like a thick soft cotton which is really really nice i really love the feel of it this outfit i've actually just styled it with the jumper from the first outfit this is the jumper that came with the cardigan and i kind of wanted a more slimline jumper i was originally wearing a black jumper but i wanted to do something a little bit different so I put this one on because it is a little bit more slim line and I feel like it just worked better with the silhouette of the skirt. And then I've actually also paired it with these boots which I got a vintage back 
in the summer months actually and these are actually knee high so they kind of cover up quite a lot of my leg obviously if it was colder outside you could pop a tights on under this um because you wouldn't be able to see them and just keep you a little bit warm and then i did actually just pop on this little brown tan belt just to kind of cinch in the skirt a little bit because it is a little bit big on my waist like i said and also i feel like it just needed something to break it up but i think it is quite cute i just don't know if it's very like me but i think it's a cute idea and we're getting somewhere and then i was thinking for outerwear i'll pair it with my trench coat because this skirt is long i would want to wear a coat that was like as long as or if not a little bit longer than the skirt just because i feel like if the coat was shorter than the skirt it would look a bit weird and my trench coat is nice and long it goes all the way down to my ankles and i do like the trench coat with the skirt and jumper i think it's just the tan of the boots that's throwing me off a little bit then i'm just going to pair my big brown bag just to kind of keep it in the neutral tones and altogether i do quite like it i think it's just the color of the boots that i was putting kind of putting me off i do think i prefer the outfit with the trench coat on i feel like the trench coat just kind of brings it together a little bit i feel like it just marries the outfit quite nicely i think it's just the orangeness of the tan of these boots that's kind of throwing me off a little bit but i think it is quite a cute outfit and i feel like it's very autumnal with the skirt with the leaf print with the trench coat and i think it is a cute way for me to wear this skirt but like i say if you do have any other ideas on how i could wear this skirt do let me know in the comments below but yeah i've owned it for about a month now and i've not worn it yet which is a little bit hesitant but i do love it so i don't want to give up on it okay so the next piece that i really wanted to show you and start in this video is this shirt that I, again i did pick this up at the kilo sale so if you've seen it in that video i do apologize but i wanted to start it up in this video because i just love this shirt and i was really really drawn to it and similarly to the skirt that I've just shown you, um, it was kind of one of those pieces I wasn't quite sure in my head I was going to style, but I actually really like the finished look. I know this is meant to be like a more colder weather outfits video. I am thinking of this outfit as more of an evening outfit for like dinner or drinks or something. So bear that in mind because it's not going to be the warmest outfit in the world. I feel like you could definitely make this more cold weather appropriate and button up the shirt properly and yeah layer up a little bit more but this is the shirt in question it's like this floral pattern it's a little bit more fitted and a little bit more cropped which i just really really loved so because it is such a busy pattern i did want to keep the rest of the outfit quite simple so i have just paired it with these slim black trousers now because i was going for more of an evening vibe i wanted a slimmer pair of trousers and again just to keep like the silhouette very simple just to let the shirt have its moment and then on my feet i have just point popped on some pointed toe boots now in an ideal world i would have like little kitten or pointed toed boots however i don't own any of those so these are the ones i've gone for um but i think like a little kitten heel would make it just a little bit more evening and a little bit more dressy and for the shirt i've only done like a couple of buttons just to leave it a little bit open just a little bit, little bit of skin and then i've just kind of left the sleeves long and loose um I, there is a popper missing on this sleeve so i can't actually do the sleeve up on this side so i've just kind of left them loose and i think it looks really really cute and then i have just put my hair back because i thought that would just work better with the shirt again because it is that busy print i just kind of want to let the shirt do the talking and i do quite like it i think it looks quite cute all together i do my hair better my hair's a little bit of a mess today so i do apologize for that and then i've just tried to pull these trousers down to be honest they're more of a high-waisted trouser but i wanted them uh, a little bit low waisted just so you could see a little bit more skin just to make it a little bit more sexy a little bit more fun for the evening and then just for accessories like i say because it is the evening i'm just gonna go a leather jacket i actually think to be honest like the whole outfit is kind of giving me laurel and gilmore vibes and i mean not that she goes like out but like the, just the shirt and trousers and boots is giving me laurel and gilmore vibes so i think this could look really cute with the leather blazer but i don't on one of these so i've just gone for my cropped boxy leather jacket just to a little bit of an outer layer and then i just go for a little simple black bag if i was doing like an evening thing which i think is how i'd wear this i mean obviously you could button it up and pop on a coat and make it a little bit more appropriate if you want it to be a little bit more warmer but yeah i kind of felt like i'd shown you that black coat quite a lot with, with quite a lot of these outfits so i wanted to do something a little bit more a little bit different with this shirt and just style it a little bit more evening wear because i feel like you could definitely just style it like with jeans black loafers black coat black bag like easy peasy but i, I want to style the shirt a little bit more evening inspired because i think it is one of those pieces that i could work, use 
day to night and I feel like it looks very cute like this and I thought just showing you with jeans and the loafers would be a bit boring but it's quite cute I mean obviously this is not the most grand baking outfit but I think it's quite cute and I could definitely see me wearing this on like an evening autumnal evening for a little dinner date so and then the last piece that I want to show you in this haul is this green jumper. Jumpers are just a staple for the colder months. I really, really love wearing a jumper and I own quite a lot of jumpers to be honest with you. But I just really liked the idea of having a brighter colour jumper. I feel like sometimes in autumn, winter we can gravitate towards wearing darker colours so just having like a fun piece of knitwear I thought would be really really good um so yeah I went for this bright green number I got this off vintage it's originally from George by Asda I really really love it actually I really love the colour I feel like even though it is a bright colour it is still quite wearable I feel like the green the colour quite suits me with my hair and skin tone and then I also really love it with the wash of these denim these are some new jeans that I picked up from ASOS actually so I'll link them down below and yeah and I really really love these jeans I picked them up recently and they've just been my go-to for autumn so far and they're definitely going to be my go-to continuing for the rest of autumn and into winter I think but yeah I really actually love the colour of green with this darker denim tone thought it was a really really fun jumper for autumn winter just a nice piece to add to my wardrobe i don't have anything like this um it is quite a fine knit which i quite like because it just means you can layer and it is actually a v-neck i don't tend to gravitate towards v-necks a lot but if i wear a v-neck jumper i really like pairing just a little t-shirt underneath so you just get that pop of color from the t-shirt so I've just got a little white t-shirt on from Topshop by ASOS. And I think it just looks really nice. Just kind of like covers up my chest. Actually helps keep you warm because I wouldn't get, be getting the cold air on my neck and chest area because it's like covered. But I think it just adds something. Kind of breaks up the green a little bit. And then actually I've kept it really, really simple. And just popped it on with my Converse. I just kind of wanted to show you a very, very simple outfit because I feel like this is just a go-to every day sort of outfit for me I wore it actually on friday when i was traveling to see my family and it was just a really nice outfit to wear on the train i felt nice but it was really really comfortable and yeah i feel like jeans and a jumper is just a go-to formula for me in autumn and winter and also i think because because it is bright green i would tend to keep the outfit quite simple i could pair it with like more bright colors but i think for me i would just pair it with more subtle pieces and let the jumper be the focal point of the outfit because it is quite a bright green and then just for accessories to be honest again like i said i'm going to keep it very very simple i'm going to pair it with my black coat i feel like i would always keep it with a neutral coat like i really like it with a black coat i have not tried it with a like tan color coat i'm not sure how it looks but i do actually really like it with the black coat and like i said this is just a go-to coat for me at the moment because it's like not my thickest coat if i'm honest and because it's black it just goes with a lot it's kind of my go-to coat at the moment i do actually prefer this jumper like tucked up a little bit rather than letting it hang because it comes quite long and i don't like it to be too long so yeah i think that's just this it looks really, really nice over the top of the green jumper lets the green jumper pop through and then you've got the white t-shirt and it just shows a bit of layering which i really really like just again keeping it simple with a black handbag just keeping it very simple like i say with the bright green i would just keep it quite simple with the rest of the outfit and yeah, I love the green with the wash of these jeans, but I feel like I could also wear them with black trousers. Because it is such a bright colour, I like it just being in a very simple cut, which just makes it a little bit more wearable for me in my wardrobe. And yeah, I think it's just a fun colour. I actually also like that I can pull the sleeves through to get a pop of green on my wrists. Yeah, I really, really like it. But it's just nice to have a bit of a brighter colour, because like I say, um, I, can, I can gravitate more towards dull colours, so it's just a bit nicer to have a pop of colour for when I feel like it, like I said, I got it off vintage and I think it's only a couple of pounds because um, it's just from Asda. But it's just a really nice piece. Buying a piece in like a brighter colour that you might not as get out much wear of as like a more neutral colour. And um, buying it second hand is just really good because then um, obviously you're not having to spend a fortune. We really love this jump out and I really love this outfit altogether. Just a very simple, basic formula for me for autumn winter okay that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it like i said at the beginning if you did enjoy this video i'd love if you could give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and if you like the styling haul format i'm happy to do this for future hauls i just think it's a little bit more interesting to show you the ways that i'm thinking about styling the pieces because i am trying to shop with more intention so when i do pick things up whether that's brand new or second hand i like to have ideas in mind on how i'm going to style the piece and how i'm going to make it work within my wardrobe so yeah if you did enjoy this video i'd appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up and i will see you all next week for a brand new video goodbye